And tea is what? Kind of a palm tree or? It's, tell you the truth, it's kind of a root. It grows kind of like a ginger. And they use it here a lot for wrapping lao lao, putting food in, in a pit barbecue kind thing. Huh. It keeps it from drying out. Of course, they use them in the hula skirts and in making lays. And probably 101 other uses. Okay, great. Okay, now that I have the tea in yellow. The middle of the clump is the better ones? Yeah, what, what you mostly want is you want them to mostly be green. Oh, okay. And you want them mostly to be uniform in length. So when you make your lay, it'll turn out even. They use them to wrap food in too, huh? Lao Lao, the famous Lao Lao. Famous Lao Lao, which I don't know anything about. What's Lao Lao? <laughs> Tell them about it. Lao Lao is, is pork and usually a little piece of butterfish or chicken. And they put it in the middle of a taro leaf, about 10 taro leaves stacked. Yeah. They wrap it up. And then they, then they wrap tea leaf around it and tie it like a little bundle. Hmm. And cook it in the barbecue pit. Or steam it, either way. You take it out and the meat falls apart and it's yummy. Okay, now, now you gotta clean them. Now, you're tearing them in half, and what is the spine? Is it just on one, it will be on one side? Then? No, actually, you can, you can feel it on both sides. It's, it's real thick, like a piece of wood almost. Okay. And you have to take that out so it's flexible after you heat it. Okay. So the whole thing... amazing what you can make cordage out of uh, our area the Indians even used uh, pine needles my grandma used to grow hibiscus I think are these native or the heating do takes no, that's why I said if you come closer and look right over the top see how that see how it's it's getting darker green mm-hmm and if you feel it you can feel how this is much more pliable now than this yeah this is bringing the the oils out of the leaf you just slowly drag it over there now. And then you can tell from the difference, but you can tell. Shiny stuff. Okay. That's one of the reasons why I leave this little tail. <laughs> <laughs> so you can pull it on the fire. That's cool. So the tail isn't part of the building process. It's part well, it of... is at the very beginning because you tie this part around your toe. Oh. Or around a nail or whatever you happen to be using. That's what you have to do with the hemp when you start it. Now you're just watching that when it looks a certain way, you, that's how you determine your speed, you're pulling it over there? Right, because you can see, you can actually see the, the change in the green and the oil come out and it gets shinier. <laughs> and 
then if you want them to come to become even a little bit more pliable pliable than what they are mm -hmm. put them in the freezer for 24 hours take them out and thaw them and then twist them and as soon as it starts wheeling on that heat it just changes You know I'm getting inter interrupted while you're doing this. So. No. <laughs> Makes it difficult. Yeah. <laughs> now before I twist them, I'm gonna. You want them? You want them to pick? I'm gonna use eight leaves in this one. Okay. So each two makes one whole one, right? So you want them to have them as even as possible. Right. Them. <coughs> cut the tails off. Now you cut your tails off. Just take it and you twist the leaf with your fingers at the same time that you're twisting them around each other. And you as a reverse, typical cordage reverse twist. And now I'm going to put a flower in. Roses and carnations. Do you do a single add a single leaf?
Now wrap it around and keep pulling it to keep it tight. Mm -hmm. See the oil squeezing out of it. Yeah. 